Hi folks, welcome to the Movie Reviews 100 channel again. I'm Ray DVD and this week's theme is Star Trek. We all love Star Trek here, so uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a great week. Uh, Big Al, he's, he's picked First Contact, which was one of the newer films, and that was one that I would have picked as well to, to talk about. Uh, loads of uh, the films that we could have picked, but I think I'm going to talk about a TV series. It is Star Trek Voyager. Obviously, the original is still the best. Uh, you can't beat Captain Kirk and Spock and Bones and uh, all the rest of the characters. But uh, uh, it got a revival. The Next Generation. Uh, I wasn't all that keen on at first. You no, know, I've I've seen a few episodes and yeah, it was fine. Deep Space Nine. I've I've hardly seen any of them episodes. But uh, Star Trek Voyager really captured my imagination. And uh, the basic plot of it is that uh, the Voyager is chasing a Maquis ship and uh, they, get, they both get uh, blown into the, the Delta Quadrant through an explosion and they're trying to make their way back to Earth. It's going to take them you know, uh, something like 20 or 30 years to get back. Or even, I think it's actually 70 years uh, originally. But uh, it's really good, you know, the cast, there's some great characters in it. Captain Janeway, who is the first female captain, was is in charge. Uh, the two ships that got blown uh, into the Delta Quadrant, uh, they combine their personnel and stuff and they become Star Trek Voyager. So there's a, it's like a ragtag bunch of, uh, of, uh, uh, of characters and stuff. And in it you have your usual, you have the Vulcan, you know, played by, uh, the character was Tuvok. He's a, he was the first mate until the captain of the Maquis ship, a, Mr. Chicote, he became second in command. And then a, we've got people like Kez, who was a, a fugitive, along with Neelix, who became the cook a, from a planet. No, they, they get sort of brought on board and they're sort of unofficial a, officers and stuff. And Kez has got like these sort of psychic abilities and stuff. And she was in the series for the first three seasons and uh, 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 they were good characters and stuff but then I think they wanted to sort of spice it up a bit and get some uh, some more viewing figures and stuff so in season four they brought a lot uh, they, they introduced Seven of Nine who is a Borg you know she was originally uh, she was a, a human uh, child who got captured by the Borg and uh, they're trying to re, in, re uh, Install her into uh, to being uh, into the human race again and stuff, and it's good to see her sort of they're trying to uh, re-educate her to be like more human-like and stuff. And then that uh, she's uh, she's uh, got a good sort of relationship with the the doctor played by Robert Picardo. Uh, it's sort of uh, it's a bit like uh, Pygmalion or you know, Eliza Doolittle. Is it Eliza, Eliza Doolittle and stuff? You know, he's trying to teach her how to be, instead of being a lady, instead he's trying to teach her how to be a human and stuff. And uh, it ran for seven seasons and really, really good. You no, know, that's one thing about all the Star Trek uh, sh shows. The vo the v their storylines were, were excellent. The technologies as well were uh, were in line with keeping with the Star Trek uh, themes, you know, the Star Trek universe and stuff. And uh, really great characters. Jerry Ryan played Seven of Nine, and uh, she really sort of brought a lot to the table. You no, know, it was like a lot of maybe the the purest Trekkies that thought she was just there as sort of eye candy and stuff. But she really came into her own, and she became a good a uh, uh, character. Uh, Kate Mulgrew was the first uh, female captain, like I says, and she really uh, played the part well. You know, there's a lot of debate who uh, how how well a female captain would be received and stuff, but she did a really, a fine job of it and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was, I would highly recommend this show if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's a worthy addition to the Star Trek universe. So, uh, it's, that's a wee bit different this week for me. It's a TV show, but uh, there's plenty of Star Trek films that you can watch as well, and I'm sure uh, we'll see some reviews of them during the week. So thanks for watching, and please uh, subscribe and leave some comments.